Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I'm going to have a look at some business process diagrams. And the ones that I'm going to focus on for this session are BPMN diagrams, Business Process Management and Notation Diagrams. They normally sit in the flowchart section, but because I've been in it already, it's in my recent section. So I'll click on that and the wizard will give you some options. So there's a blank one. This one, if I click on it, gives you best uses. This one, the same, gives you a bit of an idea of when to use this one. And then that one's the same. Now, for this little example, I'm going to start off with a very simple example of this. So I'll create that. And then you get this sort of diagram, which you can get rid of this. It's just giving you some information that you can then edit. So what I want to do on this is a, a very simple order system. So for a shop. So let's let's go for task one. Just click on this and then type check stock. Like that. So just separate that off a little bit. Now it's already got the lines for me, but I need to start moving some of this around so i'm just going to move this box and then this box because i need another box in there so these are the stencils that you've got this is the bpmn basic shape stencil so i want another task in there so i'm just going to grab a task and stick that in the middle of this now it's managed to jump in the middle which is great because i want to put order stock in there order stock and then another one push that into there fill order fill order everything's looking cool at the minute and then I've got a decision I've also got this line coming down here I want to get rid of this line for this example so I've clicked on it and deleted it got this big X which is like a gateway so a gateway diagram is where you've got two outcomes so this outcome I'm going to say is out of stock and then that can be Friday schedule so reschedule for Friday Friday schedule and in stock this one click on that no in stock Tuesday's delivery, Tuesday delivery. Tuesday delivery. So that's all I want to do in this first little diagram. So that's one example, very simple with a gateway, two outcomes. And now another one, if I go for file new again, Another one, click on it once. Now what I want to do is have a look at this one. I click on that, so it says best use is when it has more than one major participant. So I'll create that one. So this is gonna use what's called lanes, swim lanes, and you can create a pool. Now it's just get rid of this one. Don't need that for now. I'll not save it, so it gives me all this screen. So basically you've got pool one, and it's only got one swim lane and then pool two with one swim lane and then a message flow between the two and then this is the instruction so i'm just going to delete that one off now in this example i want to get rid of all of that so delete that off and create it myself so these are your pools swim lanes which become a pool when you add two together so if i add two together like that you get the title for the pool and then these are the different functions if you pull these apart or delete them off you get a separate thing so i'll just delete that one off and bring it in separate delete that one off as well so i don't want a pool i just want two swim lanes move that one up bring the second one on so they snap into position and then i'm going to name them if i double click on that that can be shop uh, this can be warehouse, double click on that, warehouse, 
then it's a, ca a case of starting off the process. So start event, I need one of them, like so. And now if I click on the connector tool, when I bring the next shape across, it will automatically connect up. So that's what I want to do. So that's going to be, move that down a bit, check stock. Check stock. And then in the warehouse, order stock so this is going to be a click on that get rid of this connector tool click on that order stock and then this is the in the warehouse so I could put load stock I could have used the message um, option there so you've got like a little message I'll do that in the next one so now we're going to dispatch this order so that's another task now I didn't have the connector tool on there so I'll have to put that on manually so just drag it across blue point to blue point point it off so that's going to be dispatch order now this is going to come up into the shop so let's do a let's go a gateway so so that's going to be check order so I need a line for that so dispatch order check order just move that back a bit so it lines up check order Make sure you've got everything that you need. So if the order is correct, we can move along and sell the order. But what if the order is not correct? Let's try that one. So this time I'm going to use the message, this message um, icon. I'll just bring that across. So this is going to be for missing stock, and I need to connect this up. Missing stock. And pull that across there so it lines up put that back off so this is go click on it missing stock now they're going to dispatch that again once they've fixed it up so I'll dispatch it connect that up Connector off, dispatch, and it's going to go back up to it's another gateway. So go back up to that, and then so check order again. So there could be a few repeat processes here. A bit more of a complicated diagram, but let's try and keep this a little bit simple. And then that's going to be if orders okay. We can just connect that up, and then that will be sell stock. Sell stock, not stook, stock. okay order okay on that one click away from that now when you've completed the diagram if you look at it and you want to change some of this stuff around you can do that so basically when you right click on these shapes you get this option here to change shape so if I change this to a sort of task so then I'll check order in there so dispatch order check order so I can put check order in there as a task and then you don't need it there just totally up to you how you do this delete that one off there and then I can put another gateway in there and then just push that to where I want it to be so missing stock 
that comes out of there. I don't want that there. Just delete that off. So the line needs to be just lined up. So just pull that until it lines up. So this now goes down as a message missing stock. So if I get my connector tool back up, I've got it up here, so I could use it there. I just come down from this one, from there to there. Uh, that glue to the shape, I want it to go to the connecting point. And then I need to tidy this up a little bit, so I just push that so it lines up there. This needs to move across. So like that, let's get that lined up. And then I'm not happy about this line here, so I'm just going to delete this line and do it again. These might all need to move across actually, so just push this across and then pull this across as well. So that's lined up. This can then line up with that. If I do the connector, it's probably why the connector tool would be great to have it on to start off with. So that's coming straight down there and then that is going to be missing stock. Like that. So missing stock, dispatch order, check order, spell it right, check order, and then message, missing stock, that's a message, missing stock, goes to dispatch, check order, order OK, sell stock. It's your flowchart, it's your information, it's your business process, it's up to you to check that that process is how it actually happens on the ground, and if that's how it happens, then you have achieved your aim so hopefully this little video been has been of use business processes using Microsoft Visio so hopefully I'll catch you on the next one